Hello and welcome back. My name is Andre. And I'm Dominika. And we're back again with another reaction to something new. And something different. different. Yes, yes, something different than what we usually do. And um, I, it's kind of on you guys because a lot of you sent us uh, a little shorts or a description of the place where you're coming from because it's no secret that apart from music we also would like to go and travel and see places. So um, this one actually came from one of our subscribers, Patrick's. Excuse me. So thank you very, very much. Thank you. It's about Sweden and the um, dark nights, so dark winters in Sweden and how people who live there are coping with it. It's quite interesting. The girl's name who you see on the picture is Jona Jinten. I believe I pronounced her name right. If not, I do apologize. And um, she's a YouTuber, but she's a movie make, filmmaker and a photographer. And I actually know her. I've seen so many of her videos. Really, really beautiful. I haven't seen this one. We decided to maybe start a reaction to um, uh, to to places like to the places world. for different things. Yeah, quite good uh, call. I just want to ask uh, for a feedback. Uh, do you want to see all of this in this channel, or we're gonna create a different one? Or yeah, at the moment we're gonna put it here, post it in here, and we'll see what's going. What do you think? And uh, yeah. That's we'll take true. it from there. Yeah, I was just looking at the winter. I miss winter so much. So I'm very curious to check this one out. All right. Um, Patrick, Enough thanks for, for this one. Thank and you. Yeah, let's watch it together. Ready? Mm -hmm. My name is Jonna, and I live in the north of Sweden. Sweden is a country with a lot of light and it's also a country with a lot of darkness. It all depends on what season it is. Just like many other countries in the Northern Hemisphere, there is a strong contrast in the light conditions between summer and winter. In the winter, it's dark almost all the time. And in the summer, it's light all the time. During the summer, in the very north of Sweden, the sun never sets between the end of May until the middle of July. So you can see the sun 24 hours a day. And that is called the midnight sun. Really? <laughs> you really? I mean, yeah, I kind of heard, but wow. Can I even imagine? Right? I wonder how your body needs to adapt um, to being 24 hours or to have a daylight. Most probably, you know, if I was... You me... to... I mean... Well, you, I think you adapt your house to You it. never sleep. You stay months I think and months like that. <laughs> no, I think you sleep. I think you have to adapt your house. I think you put a blindness on a, on a window. You kind of create the night environment for your body to rest. Uh... I just want to say when the, the moment started, I, I never kind of watch. You say you watch her. I never watch yeah. her. Yeah. Um, the place is so beautiful. And Breathtaking, her, And the voice with a, such a sweet accent. And who uh, she described is like a fairy tale land yeah. in a way. That's true. That's wow. true. Wow. Ready? Yes. And then, during the winter in the very north of Sweden, it's the opposite. For a couple of weeks, the sun never rises above the horizon, which means that there is no sunlight for about a month. And that wow. is called the polar night. These extreme contrasts in light is caused by the rotation of the Earth in relation to the position of the Sun. And the further north you go, the bigger the contrast. I live in the middle north of Sweden, and if I'm lucky and it's a clear sky, I can see the Sun above the treetops for about an hour during the darkest time of the year. It's uh, the middle of the day, and this is how high the sun goes up now. It's just a little bit over the horizon, or over the trees. But winters like this one, when it's been cloudy every day, I actually didn't see a glimpse of the sun for over a month. But just a few days ago, now in the beginning of January, I got to feel the sun on my face again. 
This is the first glimpse of the sun that we see in over a month. Do you see this? And that feeling when you begin to feel the sunlight again in January is always overwhelming. It's like seeing the sun for the first time in your life. Wow. You know, I kind of, I know I learned at school all of these things, but... I, seeing I, yeah, it you, is different, yeah. isn't it? Someone who explained who's saying all of these, who lives there, is just the impact. I mean, you, when you know, when you learn at school, you learn these things that are so mechanical, a lot of stuff. But wow, I mean, I cannot even imagine the experiencing all of this. Uh, having so much light and then dark for a month, over a month and wow. Isn't so, it beautiful? You know, the place is so beautiful. I never thought about Sweden. It's like, I never knew about the, I, I kind of, well, I like cities kind of, and I know mm. kind of architecture of the city. I kind of know how they look kind of, and yeah, but the, the place is so magical. I, I'm not a big fan of winter like that. But this one definitely is my cup of winter. You know, we missed snow here lately. It was kind of... Uh, I remember when I was a kid, that, that was magical for me. That was winter stayed with me forever. Now it's different, probably adult being and all of that. Things things change. But this one will bring me back uh, when I was a kid. The beautiful. You hear when she's walking on the snow, the, the sound true. of it. And uh, I, how cold is it? I just definitely went minus 10 minimum. Oh, that, if not that's more. a bit scary for me. I need some good clothes for that, I think. <laughs> but I, think yeah, I guess to everything you have to adapt. Well, I would definitely go and spend some time. You love here. winter. Yeah, I absolutely love winter. And this kind of winter is uh, so beautiful. And, and even the, the, um, the no sun time, I would love to experience. I don't know. It's probably because we very often romanticize about things. And then you go in and watch this kind of uh, a YouTube channel and the little, little and the movie, a film like that. And then you, you think, oh, my God, it must be amazing. I'm sure it's really harsh. I'm sure mm -hmm. it's, it's not an easy thing to do to live this way. But uh, at the same time, this is something I would like to experience and see for myself if it's. Mm. Um, I look at the video and the way it's filmed and the way the things they show and all of that. I think what else better way to promote the country than through yeah. this kind of video? It's so, so beautiful. I never ever knew kind of Sweden is like that. Mm. Should we continue? Yes. Uh, Even if it can be hard sometimes with these kinds of light conditions, I really love it and I would never want to change it. I think the light is never as beautiful as it is during these most extreme times of the year. When it's summer, I usually change my rhythm and stay up all nights and then sleep in the forenoon instead. The light is so beautiful in the middle of the night and as a filmmaker and photographer, it's like a dream to be out and capture the beauty of the bright nights of June. And then in the winter, even if we don't get so much sunlight, we at least get a few hours of twilight during the day. And that light is the most beautiful kind of daylight it that is. I know. Oh my God. It's like experiencing a long sunrise without a sun. And when it's a clear sky and the sun is rising just a tiny bit above the treetops, it spreads a soft and pink light all over the landscape. And that is beyond beautiful. Around three in the day, it's already getting dark and it makes the evenings feel never ending. But the darkness makes us see what is never visible in the light. Because actually, we do get sunlight from a thousands of suns far, far away. Wow. I live in a place where there is no light pollution and the night sky is breathtaking. 
And for me, that is one of the reasons that I really love the winter here. And now and then, the sun sends us a greeting in the darkness. Particles from storms on the surface of the sun comes traveling towards the earth, colliding with our magnetic field and creating the aurora borealis, the northern light that dances in the sky. I can never find the right words to describe how much I love to stand under the northern lights on a cold and dark winter night. I can take the darkness any day as long as I get to see the stars and the northern lights. It makes it all worth it. Wow, that's... Wow. Oh, man. You know, you, you quite often you say when we're doing the reaction to music that... That music is the next best thing after nature. And it kind of confirms that uh, mm. watching that video. Is it? Is there anything more beautiful than the nature? I don't think so. Wow. What I'm seeing, I, I, you know, your eyes cannot believe how beautiful it is. Yeah. Everything that she shoots, the, the water, the snow, the forest. The She's very, the very, very talented. It's definitely... Um, the way he sh she's shooting the video, editing the video, it's, it's, it shows it like enhance the experience even. And, uh, but yeah, you cannot deny the beauty of the nature. She just captures it in such a beautiful, beautiful way. And uh, it's, I, I agree with what you're saying. What's a better way? She should be cherished by Swedes because uh, um, she's promoting the country in a, in a very beautiful way. True that. It's so beautiful. Wow. The northern lights are yeah i think it's something like that you have to one in a lifetime something to to be to are be there going? too well i wish i wish to go i wish to go all over these places yeah the That's world the is so the, beautiful the moment is just a dream but i'm thinking that maybe in a in a future even if it's in a distant future we could travel a little bit more we're going in the summer or in the winter, <laughs> winter. <laughs> oh you go no we're going together <laughs> okay I definitely want to go winter. Winter. Okay. Yeah. We wow. go. We go and buy you some nice clothes. <laughs> we can dress you for <laughs> the layer gloves and the and layer. The oh my God! Something on your nose as well. You always complain about your it's nose. It's so cold, <laughs> even here. I'm not even gonna get there. It's not even cold. Sometimes it's minus, and winter definitely is minus in in winter. Definitely here in Romania is around minus in the mountains minus thirty. Okay, but of. where we were for the past two years, it's minus a... ten was kind of in the minus winter. three. No, it was more. I don't think so. Yeah, you felt like <laughs> yes, now food. you're going out and you're saying it's so cold. You look at my fingernails. You say. Yeah, are they getting purple? Either way, <laughs> wow. Let's. But even though there is so much beauty to find in these special kinds of light conditions that we have here in the north, I would lie if I said that it's always easy to live and adapt to them, because it's not. Well, the summer is easy. I don't think you can have too much light. The only thing that people often ask me is if it's harder to sleep when it's light all night. And for me personally, if I want to sleep during the night, I have no problem with that. And for those who do feel like it's a problem, it's easily fixed with some thick and dark curtains. Here we go. But the winter and the darkness is definitely much more challenging. And I can only speak from my own experience now. The lack of sunlight makes me more tired. And during the darkest and coldest months, between November and March, I sometimes struggle to keep the energy up. It's harder to get up in the morning when it's dark outside. Our body naturally want to wake up with the sun. And in the afternoon I often get confused with the time since the darkness makes it feel like it's much later than it actually is. And the lack of daylight makes me struggle more as a filmmaker since I only have one hour of good light to film in a day compared to the 24 hour of good light in the summer. So the darkness combined with the cold make things a bit more challenging. Wow. And I know I'm not the only one struggling to keep up the energy during this time of the year. I want to ask how she's going to when it's really big snow and they no, don't clear the roads to go to supermarket for the food and all of that. I, can, <laughs> I don't know how far they are. It's a little village with few houses we saw. Mm -hmm. 
But yeah, definitely probably in the winter is quite difficult. Don't tell me she's having a ice bath. Yeah, oh, that's I, good I will for never you. do that. Well, we will. We stop doing it. Don't worry. Yeah. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs>
and the tea smells and tastes just like how it smells like in the spring. And in the middle of the winter, I think it feels so comforting to have a piece of the spring to remind you of the wonderful time to come when everything is blooming and the birds are singing again. And of course, I also take vitamin D supplements since we don't get anything from the sun in many months. Even though that would never replace the sun, I believe it can help a little bit. The list of things you can do to handle the darkness is endless. These were just to mention a few. But I think that the most important thing of all is to accept and adapt to the cycles of nature. I definitely feel a big difference in the energy during summer and winter, both in nature and in myself. And that doesn't mean that it's right or wrong, it's just different. I think the winter and the darkness can cause a lot of unnecessary suffering when we are trying to force ourselves to feel the same as we do in the summer. It's okay to feel tired. It's okay to feel lack of inspiration, and it's okay to need more sleep and to let things slow down. A flower would never force itself to bloom in the cold winter. So why would we? This way of thinking changed my way of dealing with the different seasons. I love the winters just as much as I love the summers. They both have their own benefits and challenges. And I think it gets much easier when we let go and accept what we feel instead of fighting it and accept the cycles in nature and the cycles in ourselves and learn to live at it, like a dance. I just want to say the nature is so beautiful. It is, yeah. Everything. It's I, overwhelming. I know. keep looking, everything was she showed me, mm. I cannot believe the flowers, the trees, the snow, everything. It, it doesn't matter, it's summer, winter, so, so beautiful. Does it give you like a vibe? I'm, I'm so at peace at the moment. I'm watching that, probably it's her voice as well, how she, how she put the video together, but I'm watching, it's, oh my God, it's... I, I kind of uh, almost doesn't even feel real. Yes, it's a like, little bit. It's yeah. a dream uh, yeah. world like that. I she's well known for her videos to be like that. Uh, you kind of feel like you you stuck somewhere and un, in unreal in a different world completely. Um, she for, really yes. Yeah, I I just want to say for a few minutes we were watching I, just, I completely in a, such yeah. a different world like magical. Yeah, it is really magical. It definitely this is kind of your cup of tea mm, place yeah, this too. is my vibe that's for sure you don't like uh, buzzing stuff you like nature connect i keep looking she lay down on the grass on the flower and this mm. and this connection with everything is so so beautiful and it's so true and sometimes exactly what she's saying to force things you cannot force it's exactly like flowers and all of that they don't go in a, it's it's true you cannot force things i think we quite often in the world we're living right now we forgot uh uh, we forget to listen our body, you know, and what mm. our body tells us and just kind of uh, follow that because we you really well designed machine if it comes to 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 our mm. body. But we we can kind adapt of, to a lot of things, yeah, yeah, but I think we sometimes we push it too that, much mm -hmm, and we're forcing and we're expecting too much and and we kind of um, uh, put the fake stuff on it and uh, it doesn't always go with the with the nature. And I think the harmony when I look at it, that's what I'm longing for, is the harmony. I, I think, the, like you say, the uh, city life, uh, all this is definitely not for me. Uh, it's, you know, in a way, looking at this, like I say, it's magical. It's no conversation, you know. It's, I don't know. I, yeah, I think you have to adapt to all of these kind of things. It looks so, so beautiful. Like I say, almost unreal. Yeah. So, yeah. Ready? Oh, yes. So this is how it is to live with the light and the darkness in the north of Sweden, from my perspective. The extreme contrasts in light also creates a bigger contrast to the seasons, and they all have their own beauty. I love the constantly changing seasons, and that you can see and feel how the light changes a little bit for every single day that goes by. The beautiful balance of light and darkness is my greatest source of inspiration 
and it makes every day feel new and different. You know, that was so, so beautiful. I mean, she puts, you can see she puts so much work and effort in doing such a so, so beautiful video she, yeah. she created. It's unbelievable. So, you know, it's, yeah. she's magic. She done, it's like, you know, like uh, when I watch a, so, I listen to such a beautiful song and I have no words, almost uh, left me with nothing to say. I mean, what can you say when you see something like that? It's, Truly, truly, she's so very, magical. very lucky. Um, I think she's so sweeted for this kind of life. Yeah. I just look at her if she was perfect to you. That's correct. There are your place. That's correct. She's matching even how she looks, doesn't mm -hmm. she? Uh, with the place where like she lives. Like a forest elf, something. Yeah, I don't know. A little bit. Perfect. Absolutely beautiful. The video was, was stunning, like no other. Thank you, Patrick, because, uh, uh, yeah, without you sending us this, we most probably never would experience that, especially Andre. Right. Sweden is a 10. Wow. Last 10. It was so, so beautiful. Mm. I love it. Uh, we're going to put um, uh, her link to our official video. So we just go and see it on the full screen there. Yeah. It's definitely worth it. So yeah, just go please and watch her. It's so beautiful. It was amazing. All right. Hope you enjoy our reaction and see you again next time. Have a lovely day and all the best. Take care. Bye bye. Bye for now.